everybody welcome back to the channel so it's a bit messy here in the hallway because something arrived today from ikea the new bunk bed for the kids arrived so we got the toughing bunk bed from ikea and we got this because this is a low bunk bed um this is the only low bunk bed that they have in ikea plus it's not expensive at all for a bunk bed. We had it delivered because it's not going to fit in the car. And look at how long this one box is. The bunk bed comes in three boxes. Of course, we got the mattresses. So we got two mattresses, one for the top and one for the bottom. So we got the Moshot mattresses, 90 by 200 cm. So we got two fitted sheets. So we, we got two of this Devala. Um, fitted sheets it's we just got whatever is appropriate for the size of mattress that we got so yeah so there it is we're gonna build it today pretty exciting these are the contents of the first box box number two has I guess slats and box number three okay so this dark gray long mesh is the one that wraps around the top bunk and this one is for the bottom bunk because there's only like one end that uses this shorter one okay so there's the first bit so you have to attach the shorter one that goes at one of the ends at the bottom of the bunk using one of these bits a short flat bit and and one of these of the same length that's it you just have to slide it through the pockets or slots or whatever on the mesh so that's the first step from the long box we need the ones that are marked one and three and two and four and we're gonna attach it to the one with a mesh this number one for example is gonna go on this side it has to be facing up and the small hole faces the inside and the big hole faces outside now if you put it through this mesh this is actually quite fiddly just to warn you so you have to put it through this hole here when you put it through you have to put this all the way up right and so let's see that hole is where the silver bit from the smaller pole goes in okay so that's what it looks like so the bottom holder that was pointing out earlier and then here you can see the number and now we have to put this up here to cover okay so now we're just doing the same thing with the other side without the mesh and without the smaller bar now we deal with the long side thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's numbers here. What we need are numbers 1 and 2. So this is number 2. And the other one is number 1. And you have to use it to match 1 and 2 on, on that. <laughs> on the one with the mesh. Okay, so there you go. Now I guess we have to work on the other end. Just so you all know, that's how you put those together. That's the one we have been using so far to that's connect tight. all this. Yeah, and then that's what you use to screw in, you know, whatever we did earlier. Okay, so we basically just did the same on the other side. So I guess the only important point to remember is when you're building this, one and two would be for the bottom bunk. Three and four would be for the upper bunk. There's the frame for the bottom bunk. Okay, so now when we're working on the top bunk bed, as with the first one, we have to do first the mesh. So you have to find the label. So the label should be back here. And then you have to follow the numbers exactly. So the number four should be here. So the long bar, which is this one, like as long as that one, the number four should be at the back because the number three would match up with the one where you put the ladder. 
Yeah, so the first thing we do is put the number 4 bar in the mesh. So once you've got it in, you will find also that there's holes on the mesh that matches with the holes that will go on the bar. So once you've got that all in for the one side, now you have here in the middle this bit. Right? There's that bit. So you're going to use this one. So you have to put it in this way where the bottom is the small bit. See the small bit that I told you about? It actually goes into that metal. There's a hole there that goes right into the metal where you yeah. can screw it in. And you're going to use the long screw with a flat head. Just to recap, we're working on the upper bunk bed. And just like with the lower bunk bed, we're going to start off with the mesh. But unlike the lower bunk bed, which is quite, there's only one mesh, like a short one that's going on one end. The upper bunk bed actually has a longer mesh, which as you can see, it sort of goes and wraps around from the back to the front. What we had to do there was find this tag, you know, the IKEA, which goes to that um, corner there or to that side to the right side and then you pretty much figure out up to where it ends so we saw that it ends in that part of the mesh here so once you figure that out you insert we have to use one of these like the one at the bottom we have to use them and insert it into the mesh. Now you have to be careful and make sure that you insert the right one. So this one is actually the number four. The number four has to go at the back because the number three has additional holes, you know, that matches the one at the bottom for the ladder. So make sure that you're inserting the right bit of metal. So this one is the number four goes at the back and this is the one that you insert first so and then somewhere in the middle you're gonna insert this metal that i just showed you earlier screw it in and now we're gonna insert the metal for the top on the mesh and it would be the same thickness as this one except longer this one right here okay so i have the upper metal bit inserted now at the top of the mesh now there's two holes there's a hole there and there's another hole there um based on the diagram it's this other hole the one on the right right hand side so there's an extra hole here it's this other hole where you should uh, put on top of the middle metal bit that we have here and we're gonna need a screw put in here to tighten them up together we're gonna need this screw right here and there's two different sizes on the hole so one side is smaller than the other so you want the smaller hole to go inside and the bigger hole should be up here where you can insert the screw so I need to turn this around so yeah so there's the bigger hole and the other hole is over here and that's where we're gonna screw it in to that second hole okay so we've done that and for some reason it doesn't really go all the way down so I'm pretty sure it's the right screw it's the only screw not yet I'm pretty sure it's the right screw because that's the only one of this kind there's no other after that we are going to insert um, through these holes somehow this bit so we finished the long end so we're just gonna do the same now for the shorter ends so the same flat uh, metal except it's shorter and then we're gonna put the round ones at the top okay so once you've got the sides up it's time to put the bar at the front you have to make sure that the whole positioning is like this like the holes are the two holes are in the middle they're like there's holes all around um along so 
the small hole at the bottom and big hole there and the big hole is at the top again insert it first through the mesh and then screw them in This is yeah, like probably the worst IKEA product that we've ever put together. Yeah, yeah now this one is just, uh, it's the mesh. The problem is like putting it together with the mesh. Now we need to put these ones now over here. And it's going to be a tough one because you have to insert it through there. Through here? I think so. Is it? I don't know any other way. Where is it going to go? I don't see any other holes. <laughs> Basically, the idea is insert it and then it goes right here. Oh, it wasn't that bad. He actually did it. So, there. But seriously, guys, yeah. Hold on. if you have no patience, don't get this because it's just. Ugh. But I guess once you've assembled it, it's like very nice. It's just the assembly part you know here's the other side so there's a little bit of a technique for you to be able to get it onto that hole there because it's going to be a really tight so i won't lift up too, so i won't to... lift up so you have to bend it and there you go and then you just have to screw it in with the same screws like uh can't see like there somewhere there there's a screw basically there's gonna be a screw there okay so the next one is the ladder so you just basically hang it there you have to screw it at the bottom using these pair Okay, so for the bottom of the, well, this goes for the same, you know, top and bottom of the bed. It's like basically the slats. So you basically put these through all the slots there. And it has to be up this way. So that pointy bit should be going up. Okay, so here's a couple of things we learned. So see the sign on the mesh? should be pointing towards the sign up there and opposite the sign which would be this side here the ends of the metal metal that you're inserting should have that bump because the other side don't have bumps all metal ends here should have bumps on this side on the side opposite of that um tag so once you've got everything in, you need these thin ones. There's four of these, so you have to put one on that side and another on this side. And you basically insert this through, you see this yellow, yellow thing? There's a hole that's where you insert it and the metal should lie in that gap over there. It is a bit of a job. Okay, where's the metal? So you literally have to... There you go. It's getting there. So, so there. Basically that's it. As you can see, we've already attached the floor for the bottom bed. So you just basically use screws there. So now we're going to do the same for the top. It is quite a job. I mean, you can understand this is a bunk bed that you're building. Once it's built, I think it's really sturdy and quite good. 
but just putting on you know the mesh like getting through them oh it's really difficult we've built so many ikea items and this is the first time that i've actually complained <laughs> first time i've actually complained and it's taken us four hours already more than four hours anyway let's finish this finally so now we're just putting in the mattress and the fitted sheets on a mattress yay but it's finally built <laughs> to subscribe for more videos and if you like this one give it a thumbs up and share